Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm going to show you a little bit about cloth diapering, how to use the diapers, how great they are from little babies to big babies like this, and then also how we can clean them and keep them in the best shape so that they can last as long as they can. One of the best things about these diapers is all of the snaps that allow you to adjust the size from teeny tiny babies to bigger toddlers like this sweet girl here. We obviously are using snaps that are closer to the outside because she has gotten so much bigger as you can see, but we are still going to snap these up so that it's not so saggy on her. That way she gets the perfect fit every time. Okay, I also want to show you the inside of our diapers because these have a pocket for your liner. Now there's already a liner in here. You just slide the liner in and get it smooth. But these are what the liners look like out. And sometimes if you need extra, extra protection, you can put another liner right in here or you don't have to use the pocket. You could just put this in here. When my babies were going through phases of really, really peeing a lot at night, I would put two double liners in and that way they are much more absorbent. Okay, so probably one of the biggest concerns or questions about cloth diapering is how do we clean them? Especially when we have babies that are going through multiple diapers a day, it can feel overwhelming. And there's a couple different ways that you could do it. Um, again, because my baby is so much older, we don't go through a lot of diapers anymore. So I'll show you our routine and then tell you a little bit about other ways that might help if you have a lot more diapers you're going through in a day. So. If you've got a diaper that has number two in it, obviously there's nothing in here, but if you do and it's pretty solid, you can just dump it right in the toilet if you need to. Sometimes you might need to spray it off a little bit. And there are these really cool gadgets that you can get to attach to your toilet that you can spray it off with. I don't have one of those because I just don't really need it because again, we don't go through so many diapers anymore and most of the number twos are pretty solid. But for those little babies that are going through a lot of diapers, getting something to attach to your toilet would probably be very, very helpful. But if you do need to rinse it, it's not too difficult to come into your tub if it's easily accessible and rinse it off if you need to. Once that's done, or if it's just a number one and it's just wet, I usually just take the wet liner and throw it in to a bin that has some dye-free and fragrance-free oxygen-boosted detergent in it. Um, if I still need if this is wet and I still need to put this in, then I'll take the other liner out as well, if I have two in there, and I'll put both in. And then if this still needs it too, I'll throw this in too. Then at the end of the day, if those are all done and soaked, I have this bag right here. It's such a cute Alba Baby wet bag. This can be used for so many things, but because again, I don't have very many diapers, this is the perfect place for me to take my wet, or soiled diapers. Once I rinse them in here for a little bit, I just throw them in here and keep them in here until the end of the day. Okay, at the end of the day, when you're ready to do a wash, you just grab your wet bag or whatever else you might be putting your soiled diapers in. Another great thing you can use is a ventilated bin with a bag in it that you can just pick that bag up and toss it in. You can do the same thing with this after you empty it. This is um, machine washable as well, but I don't have very many diapers again. So you're just gonna throw all of these into your washing machine. And if you want, you can throw that in too. I'm not going to though. And then what's really important is to use cold water. So I'm just gonna turn this to a normal cycle and then I'm gonna make sure that my cycle is on cold water. And I'm also gonna make sure that I'm using dye-free and fragrance-free detergents or any type of wash that you wanna use for these. That'll just help keep the integrity of the material. And then we'll just press go and we'll do a regular wash on that. Your drying options are also super easy as well. Once they're done in the washing machine, there's a couple different options. I like to just toss mine right into the dryer on a low temperature for drying because again, I don't have huge loads, but another great way you can do it is to hang dry them. That's always a good option to keep their shape and integrity longer. Um, sometimes if you have a really tough stain in them that didn't come out with your pre-soaking, or you're washing, a great way to do it is to hang them in the sun. And the sun has its own bleaching properties that can help whiten those right up. 
Again, cloth diapering might seem kind of tricky or confusing at first, but I promise once you figure out your routine and you get some really great products like these Alpha Baby diapers, you'll be able to find that it's actually a really great way to be sustainable and a great way to save money, especially. That's one of the reasons I got into it is so I didn't have to worry about disposable diapers and it's just become kind of a way of life now and we love it. And if you haven't tried it, I for sure encourage you to give it a try.